Hi friends! Can you hear me okay? How are you? Got a little dark outside. Let me open this up. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Happy Tuesday. If you are watching the replay as always, let me know you're watching it. Just type replay in the comment section and let me know that you are watching. Also, let's get this comment section going. Tell me how you're doing. I want to have some feedback here so I can chat with you guys. Oh, you can see me in the reflection there. You see my mic, my computer. <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling today? What's going on? We're going to do a fun one today. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw my Iris. There's Iris. Iris just joined the family on Monday. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yay. Um, I'm supposed to have all my sticky notes up here with everyone who's joined so far, but um, I don't have them yet. But very exciting stuff. We've had a bunch of people join. I think there's been something like 20 people join already, which is always so fun because it makes so much conversation and excitement going. We just opened the Eat to Live family on Monday. Today's Tuesday. We're only going to be open for a couple more days, so consider joining us. Iris joined, and Iris went in for the year. And she talked her best friend into coming too. So that's pretty awesome. Um, know that you guys can always bring friends and family in. Um, and we'd, we'd love to have those referrals. And we actually have some folks who've done that, brought in family members and um, actual family members <laughs> into the family. The Eat to Live Family is a monthly group coaching program. Yay, Chantal joined. So did Dorothy also. So exciting. Dorothy joined and Chantal's back. This is her third time back and now she's in for a year. I'm so excited that you're with us, dear. Thank you. I hope your, um, your login stuff got sorted. I know I was talking to Jen about it yesterday and wanted to make sure that you got it and I hope you're in now. Um, yeah. Hey, Mary Ellen. So glad to see you from New Brunswick, Canada. Love it. Hi, Sandra. Happy to see you. So the Eat to Live family is open for registration now. It is a monthly group coaching program where um, we do stuff like this all the time to support you. And the goal is to help you end emotional eating. Seriously, that's like the number one goal on my side. Help you end emotional eating so that you can eat healthier and you can lose weight consistently. That's the whole, <laughs> you're not a re revolving door. Um so that's our whole point of creating the family, and that is what I deliver to you. So please consider joining. I'm going to leave up this little um, banner here just for right now. TheWateringMouth.com slash family is where you go if you want to sign up. Okay, so if you've been considering, it's open now. We're only going to be open for a few more days, okay? And then we'll close for a whole quarter. You won't be able to get in until later. Okay, but today... We are going to, I'm doing a lesson. I love, love, love this lesson. Even if you've heard it before, I'm, I hope there's like a lot of family members on here and I think there is. Hey, Richard, nice to see you. Um, because even if you've heard things before, it's always good to hear it again to remind yourself. Okay. Jude. Hello, dear. Jude is in the family too. Hi, my friend. Okay. So let's get into it. What are we talking about today? I want to just say, I actually did get my iPad figured out, and I figured out that it wasn't the iPad that was a problem, thank God, because this is a quite expensive iPad. It, the kids did not mess up this. It was just the cord, because um, my husband had a cord, and I used it, and it works perfectly. So whew, that was a relief for me, but what I learned from that like snafu last, last week during the challenge workshop was that I prefer to just deliver this um, using the board. So I'm going to do that because I feel like I'm more energetic that way. Um, yeah, and that's what we need is more energy for me, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get it going. Hey, Irma. Glad to see you. Oh, Sandra, I hear you, friend. Been overweight since age 12. Very hard to lose. Diabetic number two. I am so with you. So I have blood sugar issues as well. I'm pre-diabetic, I'd say. I... Um, have always had an issue with weight as well. And, but for me, what it came down to was adding in this mindset stuff. It's never about the diet. You can lose weight eating Twinkies if you want, as Dr. Furman always says. You really, really can. And I could coach you to do that if that's what you wanted, right? It is about our health, though, for all of us watching this, typically, because you're interested in eat to live or whatever. But just as we know, health is not enough, right? Health is not 
<laughs> for many of us, it's not our health. It's not necessarily even the promise of vanity, looking good, whatever we want to say, weight loss, whatever. Those are not enough. We need to be able to shift our mindset permanently towards taking care of ourselves, which is really what it is, right? It really has to be about how, how do we feel on a daily basis? How do we want to feel? How do we prefer to feel? And when we tap into um, actually physically how we feel and whether or not we want that, that's when the true power comes out, okay? Hey, Michelle from Michigan. I'm from Michigan too. I'm, I'm from Grand Rapids originally. Irma is from Bakersfield. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to talk about today. So um, I was just mentioning that the Eat to Live family is open for registration right now. That is a group coaching membership where I deliver all of those goals to you, especially ending emotional eating so that we can lose weight and eat healthy consistently. But um, so when you join, the first thing that you see when you join is what we call my quick start program. Okay. Um, so here's what happened. And I just have to mention, I really only do have an hour today. So um, I'm going to set a timer here for um, what, 53 minutes? Because when that one goes off, I really do got to go. Um, okay. Because I have a meeting after this. So when you first join the family, you get access to my quick start program. Back in the day, I created something to eat, called the Eat to Live Academy. And it's amazing. It's basically when you start private coaching with me, um, I'm going to teach you a bunch of stuff first. And I kept having to say the same things over and over and over to clients when I started working with them privately. And so I just created this Eat to Live Academy so you could just watch the videos so I didn't have to say it a thousand times. And then we could start actually coaching when we get private coaching, right? And this was amazing. This has helped so many people lose weight and change their mindset and whatever. Um, but what, but it takes eight weeks. It's an eight week program. It's amazing. It's got so much in it, but what I wanted was to just make something that you could get done in just a few hours and you knew exactly what to do. So I made this one back in 2020 and I made this one. I'm, 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 I don't remember. I think it was like 2021 or 20, maybe it was the beginning of 2022. Maybe it was the end of 2021. I can't quite remember, but anyways, I made that quite recently. And so this is a simple three-step program, how to lose weight, how to end emotional eating. That's what the Academy is too, but like, this is like the longer version. This is the quick version. And so I'm going to tell you what those steps are. But what I want to tell you is that both of these programs are yours if you join the family, right? So you can just watch all that stuff if you join. So even if you only joined for a month, month and you just wanted to binge watch this content, you could totally do that. I don't recommend it because it takes quite a while to implement it and actually get the changes out of it. Usually people will stay in the family for at least five to six months um, and they'll find the value there. But when you join immediately, you can watch this. Now, this one I said is an eight week program. And this one is, um, it's about five to six hours total. So within a day, you can have this one done, understand the full program and know exactly what to do. There's three parts of this. And today I'm going to go into one of these parts. I'll tell you what all the parts are in just a second. Okay. Sandra says, um, thing is I'm on a low income disability. I don't have money. Many programs want you to spend. Do you? Yes, of course. So the family is, it costs something. It's $49 a month. Um, what I recommend um, typically when people say low income and disability, there's still a little bit of money somewhere when it comes to um, what we're overspending on for food, right? So typically if we have some weight to lose, it means there's a little bit of overeating. Can we forego something, something for the next month just to find the $49 to join, see how it feels, get some information, right? Your other option is... Um, Sandra, if you'd like to watch anything else that I have on my YouTube channel, there's so much free information on YouTube. But the reason that I have the family is so that I can make it faster for you. So I can make your transformation faster. And um, if you read, all, if you watch the materials, you implement things and whatever, I guarantee you're going to get a transformation and it's going to be beautiful and amazing. 
Um, so what would you be willing to sort of forego a little bit just to be able to join for a bit? It's something to think about, right? If you don't have, if you really actually don't have any money and you're only buying, you know, exactly what you need every month and that's all you have, is there something that you could do? Um, like if you really want this transformation, is there something you can sell? Uh, 50 bucks, right? Put it up on Facebook marketplace or whatever. Is there something to sell? Uh, is there something that you can do for somebody that they'll pay you $50 for? What, what type of knowledge do you have, right? The point I'm going into here is how resourceful are you in order to get the transformation? Or are we hiding behind the I don't have money thing, right? Because I hear that a lot and I totally get it. Money is a huge stressor. And when you don't have a lot of it, it feels very stressful. But when we feel stressed out, we don't get curious and creative. And I guarantee you, Sandra, that you have so many gifts and wonderful things that you could offer that someone would pay you for. Um, and so start to consider perhaps maybe there's a way if you really truly want to get over emotional eating and get this transformation that you might consider, what could I sell? What could I do extra to make a little bit of money on the side in order to do this, right? Could I talk to someone on the phone and help them through an issue, whatever. There's so many different things, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, how many months to lose a bunch of weight? Needs 70 pounds lost. So it depends on the person, right? Um, my program is um, for like, it'll work for anybody, no matter where you're starting from. Um, a good rule of thumb, I would say, if you really were doing things in a, in a you know, um, you are really putting everything you have into it. You're watching the videos. You're doing everything. You can lose, I would say, 10 to 20 pounds a month in the beginning. And then I would say 8, 10 pounds a month thereafter. But, uh, Sandra, I want you to understand that you, you don't even need to be in the whole time, the whole time you're losing the weight, right? You just need to be in long enough that you fully understand and um, embody rather than just intellectualize the information. You have to fully understand what's happening. And that's why I say it takes about five to six months. It's not how long it's going to take you to lose weight. I just want you to get to the point where you understand the program, you've done it enough, and you've gotten coached on it by me personally in there. Then I can help you get to the root of all that and make that transformation for you faster. So the folks who join but don't go on the coaching calls as much, they only watch the coaching calls, the folks who don't really interact much or whatever, it's going to take them longer to get their transformation. But the ones who come in and use everything that's in there, they like, they um, make connections with people, they post, they ask questions, and specifically they get coached on the two calls that I do every month. Those people make the fastest transformations and it could just take five, six months, something like that, or even less. It depends on the person, right? Um, here's one. Yeah. I mean, so it just depends on what you're doing, right? You can lose really quickly. That's amazing, Karen. And it depends on your ability to stick to um, your own personal growth, your own self-transformation, if you know what I mean. You are a Facebook user today on my side. It's so funny, Melissa. I actually think people on Facebook probably see your name when you're commenting, but I see you as Facebook user. I don't know why. Yeah. So um, do you deal with diabetic metabolic syndrome, high cholesterol too? Yeah, we deal with all that stuff. Um, we don't offer specific medical advice. We're basically about healthy eating consistency, stopping emotional eating, and then those things get taken care of with that because there'll be weight loss and stuff like that, right? So we don't give any medical advice and we wouldn't be talking about cholesterol or metabolic syndrome or diabetes or anything like that. But what we know for a fact is that when you eat to live and you get closer and closer to the nutritarian diet, um, the better your health outcome is, Okay. Karen, we're here for you. So much to do. So much to do. We, we got the program for you if you want to keep going with us. But you just keep doing what you're doing because it sounds like it's working. Um, Sandra, so you say, seeing a counselor soon, I know I'm definitely an emotional eater. Um, come with us. I'm, I would just like to offer that perhaps, like counselors are great. If you can do both, perfect. Definitely love if people can do therapy or counseling plus what we do. But if it's a choice between the two, just see what we have, see what we have going on. And I'm going to tell you some of it today. So you'll see how this feels for you. You can even try it out and see if it works for you. Um, but I would, I would try to consider if you can do both, do both. 
because what we're doing compared to what a counselor or a therapist does, it's just a beautiful addition. I wouldn't say replace it necessarily, but I would say add it to it if you can, if you can make that happen. Um, that's t totally fine. Hi, Melissa. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, we got some folks from um, Michigan going on representing my home state and Sanders in Wisconsin. Yay. Um, okay, Melissa has a mushroom, mushroom question, question. Do all mushrooms have to be cooked? Bought oyster mushrooms is something different for the challenge. I had been doing dehydrated from Costco, putting water to, to rehydrate and use them that way. I was wondering about the new oyster mushrooms. Um, so I've heard him say lots of different things. I think what happens is because we eat mushrooms every day, it's like the dose makes the poison thing, right? So like if we're eating so much of them, then yeah, it's something that we want to actually be cooking as much as possible. I don't think it's critical every single time. Like if the, for instance, there are low agarotene mushrooms and high agarotene mushrooms too. I don't know the difference, but I don't think it's critical every single time, but I would, you know, if, if possible, I would try to cook them. Um, but yeah, I think it's more like an air on the side of caution kind of an idea, right? Um, required is an interesting word, Michelle. Um, if you want to follow the nutritarian diet perfectly, then yeah, you would eat mushrooms every day. Do you have to, to be a healthy person? No, you don't have to. It's just helpful, right? It's like, do I have to take my supplements every single day to be healthy? No, but it helps, right? <laughs> um, we can still have health even if we're not perfect. And that's a huge, huge point I'd like to make. Okay. Um, yeah. So on this diet, Sandra, um, what we, we are following basically what Dr. Furman mentions, which is the eat to live diet, the nutritarian diet, which mentions that um, mushrooms are something that we should eat every day and we should eat them cooked because they have a tiny little toxin called agarotene that if you get too much of it can be toxic to you. But the benefits of mushrooms outweigh any risk in that case is what Dr. Furman says, because mushrooms are such a um, potent immunity boosting food anti-cancer, all this kind of stuff. So there are several foods on this lifestyle that we eat every single day. And we have a cute acronym for them, which is G-bombs, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, seeds, and nuts. And so we always try to eat those every day. Raw mushrooms cook, um, raw, sorry, raw onions, cooked mushrooms, and the rest is just trying to make up that diet, right? Okay. Oh, Chantal says, I have counseling here in my country, but I miss the supportive and knowledgeable addition of the Eat to Live family. So I joined again. I'm so glad to hear that. And I, I love that. I love when we can put them together and have both. Like I would not recommend only doing the Eat to Live family if you feel that counseling and therapy is important for you, but it can make such a wonderful, wonderful addition. Oh, dehydration is the cook is the cooking for the mushrooms. So I don't cook them again when I rehydrate. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I've heard him talk about that before. Um, yeah, Sandra. So I get food stamps, but it's been cut drastically. I love mushrooms. My daughter's got to lose too. Is there meat involved? I like it so far. There can be meat involved. Um, but typically it would be a plant-based diet would be the most effective for helping with these issues. Um, but you can certainly have meat, but the good news is meat is really expensive nowadays. So it will help you cut back on meat, which will save you money. And then you can join the family. Um, Okay. Um, not a fan of mushrooms. Is that what you're talking about? Um, no problem. You don't have to eat mushrooms if you don't want to. What we typically say is um, a couple of little tricks you can do for it. If you do want to get mushrooms just for the benefits is to have one, one little cooked mushroom, which doesn't have a ton of flavor and just throw it in a smoothie every day. So you can get that or Dr. Furman or others have a lot of really great mushroom supplements. I take a mushroom supplement too, cause I don't get them in every day. Um, and so that's a possibility as well. Um, yeah. And beans are super cheap and it's our main source of protein. Um, so it's so easy to get enough protein and it can be really, really cheap. Vegetables and beans are so inexpensive comparatively. Nowadays, it's so much different than it used to be. This diet can actually be so much cheaper and it's so much cheaper to not be an emotional eater. <laughs> like I can't stress this enough. Like if we are overweight, it means we are buying and consuming too many calories. That means we are wasting money holding fat on our body in the form of, you know, excess calories that we paid for that are literally just sitting in our body doing nothing, just waiting to be used for later. And so um, 
if we can cut out emotional eating, we're automatically going to save money, right? That's, it's so fascinating to me. Um, well, I get these online, actually. I get these on um, Dr. Furman's website. Uh, eat to live is good for, yes, it's amazing for gut microbiome, all that kind of stuff. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, mushroom coffee is good too. Um, okay, let's get to the lesson because I, I don't want to miss this today and I do have a hard stop here in 40 minutes. So, okay, if you join the family, you get access to the Quick Start program immediately and the Academy. It's open right now, by the way, and it only open for a few days. So if you want to join, you got to do that at thewateringmouth.com slash family. And I recommend you join for the year because you're going to get two months free. So if you were to join... Um, you get a chance, you get a choice of either joining for $49 a month and it's um, cancel anytime. Or you can join for $4.90 a year and you get two months free. Now, this is obviously cheaper to start here, but actually I think this ends up being cheaper overall because you really do need to have several months of work. Even if you're doing everything right all the time, you still need five, six months to be in it. And then you might as well be in it for, you might as well only pay for 10 months and get 12. Cause like Chantal said, the camaraderie, everyone is working on the same stuff. We're all working on it together. And cause you get two months free. So technically it ends up being something like 49 bucks or $40 a month, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so it's cheaper than doing this. And the whole point of this one, the whole point of the yearly one, which I highly, highly, highly recommend, and our dear Chantal just drew her line in the sand and said, that's it, I'm, I'm going in for a year. She joined for a year because she knows how amazing it is to do it for long term. She's been in twice now monthly, and she kept leaving and kept leaving, and now she's back for good. <laughs> Join for the year because what this is, I want you to think of this like, it's drawing a line in the sand saying, this is it. I'm committing to me. I am committing to my health to finally, you guys, I'm going to even change marker colors for this. Okay. Finally. I am committing to finally ending my relationship with emotional eating. This is the entire point of it. Everything I do is about getting you to reduce and hopefully one day completely end your emotional eating to get Dr. Furman style about everything, right? Like we don't have to use food to soothe ourselves. We can, we have the power to soothe ourselves. We don't have to use food to do it, to cope with life. We are all strong enough to be able to cope. And I want to show you how that works. Okay. So here's what we're learning and it is 490 bucks. Come on. If someone said that they could make you stop emotional eating, and what would you think that would be worth? What do you think someone would charge for that? It'd be like thousands and thousands, like so much. If you could just stop emotional eating, finally lose the weight, stay consistent, eat to live because you want to, not because you feel like you have to or you're going to die if you don't, because you actually want to. If someone could show you how to do that, what would you pay for that? Right? This is nothing. This is nothing. And if you get coached by me or you get into a private relationship with me or one of my coaches, you actually get in. We, we guarantee this. We, we know how to teach this and we know how to get you there so that you're there forever. And you finally feel powerful about your food and your weight and everything again. OK, so consider. Oh, Iris, I love it. Iris is the one that just joined for the year. On Monday, yesterday, she says, I joined yesterday and have been doing the quick start program before and have found the materials to be completely different from anything I've seen before. I'm so glad you told me. I'm so glad you said that, Iris, because um, we're about to blow your mind. We're about to change you, right? I guarantee it. Okay, so let's get to our lesson. Now, I mentioned... When you join the family, the first thing you get access to is the Quick Start program. That's what Iris is talking about here. And I'm going to give you a, one of the lessons just for free right now. So I'll tell you, the Quick Start program is three things. Number one, plan your food. Write it down. 
you don't have to do this forever. These, this quick start program I'm telling you is temporary. It's just stuff you have to do to get into practice, okay? Temporary. The second step is um, eat when hungry, stop when full. I hope you're taking notes. Now, there's a lot more information in the program. So this is a, what I'm giving you now is a very simplified version. When you join, there's so many more resources to help you through, okay? And Melissa's like, yay, Iris, for joining. I know, I've been working on this lady for months trying to get her in. She almost joined private coaching with me, and I really think that is the place for her. But we're going to get her in the family first and see. <laughs> right, Iris? Okay. I'm just giving you a hard time. Uh, number three. The third step of the quick start program, which I also call, this is the quick start. I also call the one pound down system, one pound down system. What I mean by that is let me teach you how to lose one pound and keep it off forever. And once you know how to do that, you can lose all the others. Okay. And then the third one, allow feelings and cravings. And, and learn to process emotions. Because I'm not just an eat to live expert. I'm not just one of the foremost eat to live experts in the world. I'm also a certified life coach. And when you put those two things together, it's like everything you need. I want to get you to that place where you're no longer doing that emotional eating thing. And I know exactly how to teach you how to do that. And it's so simple. I made it so simple. It's just three steps. Now, inside of the family, I'm going to give you so much more detail. Today, we're going to really go into this one. But when you get in there, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do this. It's so simple. You can take it with you anywhere, whether you're on vacation, whether you're stuck in a hospital, whatever. Whatever. You can take this same thing with you so that no matter what comes up in your life, you will continue to be successful and continue to be consistent. Take this stuff with you. And when you don't like these things, when you work on them, they're going to become automatic. This one, you're not going to have to do forever. Like you are not going to have to like write it down and do this kind of stuff that we start with in the family, but planning your food, using your hunger and satiety signals and processing your emotions, these are going to become automatic for you. It's just a new, it's just a paradigm shift. It's just a new way of looking at food and how your body actually operates. Okay. And when you have practiced these enough, they become as automatic as brushing your teeth. And that's exactly what I want to happen for you. That's why I say let's join for a year because I want this to become so automatic that it's, you don't have to count stupid Weight Watchers points anymore, or you don't have to log everything into my fitness pal, or you don't have to, you know, anything. You don't have to go on to a Facebook accountability group to like confess your sins and have a buddy and, you know, put all of your power in someone else. Now it's in your power because it's so simple and you can take it with you anywhere. Okay. So we're, today we're going to focus on this one. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, Melissa says, after two years of being in the family, I now use Post-its for my protocol. Why did it take me so long? It's like, if you would just listen to me, <laughs> if you would just listen to me, people. <laughs> and she says, mindset is everything. I'm calm and peaceful this year working on my taxes. What? Did I teach you to do that? That's amazing. That's, I want to charge you extra for that one. <laughs> I should become, I should become like a, um, a do your taxes guru. I cannot tell you how many of my private clients this came up in our clients that in our calls that they had to do their taxes and they had so much drama about it. That's so funny. Um, yes, Michelle, you, you say you're teaching the healthy ways to eat, correct? Are you touching on the needs to fix the, um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean, but are you saying, so we go into healthy eating, but do we also go into, um, learning control, emotional attention, needing emotional attention, learning control as a child. Um, so if, if what I think you're asking is like, we go into the practical stuff about what to eat, but do we also go into the mindset stuff? The answer is a hundred percent. I think 95% of what I do is this stuff about emotional control, emotional processing, 95% of what we do. Let me repeat that. Like, or more 95% of what we do is about 
learning emotional control, learning how to process and cope with things that are happening in our life so that we don't turn to food to pile things on and cover things up. Um, looking at the stuff that's in our past, like how many times if I coach somebody that, you know, they start saying things about my childhood and this is why this happened and this is why I am the way I am or whatever. And then I help you learn how to get through that. That's what we do. That's all of what we do. And this is very simple. This is a very, very simple process. Anyone can do this. This is the one where it gets really deep and this is where the coaching really comes in. Um, but we're just going to drill all this. This is what we do. And just like Iris said, it's unlike anything you've said you've seen before, completely different from anything I've seen before. And that's because it works, <laughs> right? All the other stuff doesn't work. If it worked, you'd be doing it right now, right? Um, okay, uh, I think that's it for now. Oh, inner child. Okay, oh, okay. Um, are you touching on the needs to fix the inner child needing emotional attention, learning controls? Absolutely, absolutely. So I think I got, I think I got what you're talking about, right? Did you learn this as a child from your parents or as an adult? No, I learned this when I got certified as a life coach. All of this stuff, everything I teach is from my life coaching certification because I had always lifelong been a struggle with binge eating, overeating, things like this. I've got a lot of YouTube videos from the past. Like I've been doing my website for about 11, 12 years now. And I've only been really perfecting this stuff for about five years. And so um, I learned it all when I started life coaching. Um, from the life coach school and then I got certified and then I started coaching it. That's where it all comes from. Yeah. Hello, my dear. I'm happy to see you, Rochelle, also in the family. Okay. So we got half an hour. Let's talk in, let's talk about this second one here. That's what we're here for is the actual name of this workshop is how to use your hunger to lose weight. So today we're going to talk about how that works. It's a huge part of my program, but it's a very simple one. And I'm going to give you everything you need to know in order to do this. So how to use hunger to lose weight or replace this with eat healthy consistency, right? It's not just about weight loss here. So what we're talking about is hunger and satiety. I want you to think of this hunger and satiety as a tool, right? I'm going to do a really terrible drawing of a hammer here. That looks more like a, I don't know what that looks like. That's a hammer, <laughs> okay? I want you to think of hunger and satiety as a tool that you've just never used before. Just no one has really talked to you about it much before. And we've really, as a society, lost touch with our body's innate abilities. Now, I always give this, um, this corollary here. Not a lot of people have experience with this, so this might be news to you, but I want to explain why I know that this works. Why? Okay. Because I don't know if you've, and I've actually just coached this recently. I, I always bring this up with my clients. If you've ever had any experience breastfeeding, right? Now, breastfeeding is a, is kind of a weird thing in our society nowadays. We don't, we're not really taught how to do it. We don't, people have been discouraged for a long time from doing it. Um, and so it doesn't seem very natural for us when it's actually one of the most natural processes of the body, just like going to the bathroom, right? Like just like having bowel movements or urinating, creating breast milk is also a very natural body process. Now, not every female's body can do it and that's okay. That's a, those are different issues. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, just like a lot of people have issues with constipation, IBS, whatever that's, but we all can digest food, right? We can all urinate. We have the ability to do this and it's a very, very natural thing for the body to do. Now, here's why it's so amazing because when you breastfeed a baby, it's a, it's not just an output situation where you're giving milk, you make milk and you give it to the baby, the baby sucks it out. That's not just what it is. It's also input because the saliva of the baby tells the breast a lot of things like the health of the baby. Does the baby have a cold? Is the baby sick? How much milk does the baby need? Because the baby will ask for more. And those signals get sent to the brain and explain to the brain what's happening with that baby. And what's so fascinating is that if the baby has a cold, the breast milk, the, the body will turn that breast milk into 
way more immune boosting type milk. It will change the formulation of the milk in order to help the baby get um, better faster. And when a baby starts sucking more because it's going through a growth spurt and it's hungrier, the breast within a day or two will start to actually make a bigger volume of milk. So it's an input output system. It actually teaches stuff to the brain and then the brain will change it and fix the milk. Like it's insane when you talk about it. If you don't know much about breastfeeding, you're like, what? It's the most, it's the coolest thing on the planet. This system that happens between a baby and a mom when it's feeding the baby, right? But because we've gotten so out of touch with that system, many mothers aren't taught how to do it. Um, they have major struggles when they start. And then many of them are just even discouraged from even trying. Instead of seeing it as this beautiful, amazing system that's just built into our body, right? Like I know my experience, oh my God, I had the hardest time breastfeeding. Finally got it with my first daughter, but my twins, I never was able to get them to last. It was just, it was just a thing, right? But if this was more a part of our society, we would naturally, we'd have a bigger percentage of people that would be able to breastfeed their children. No judgment if you can't. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it would be more societally accepted. People would be talking about it, sharing experiences. You'd be able to do it in restaurants and people wouldn't care, right? This kind of thing. So the point I'm making here is a corollary, corollary to that and to hunger. Hunger is the same thing. Hunger is the most amazing system that our body has. And honestly, if you think about any system that our body has, they're all insane and amazing. But we are so out of touch with our hunger nowadays. We don't, it's just like, we are so out of touch with this natural body process, just like the nursing and breastfeeding thing. We are so out of touch with it that we don't even, we don't even know it's there. <laughs> First of all, we're afraid of it. We don't want to be hungry. <clears throat> And we're constantly pushing it aside because everyone is telling us these little rules about you should have this many meals a day and you should eat them at this time and you should this, 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 whatever. So we have all these rules running around in our head and none of it's helping us. So what I say, and I know this to be true from the bottom of my soul, nobody tells you that Weight Watchers points are true from the bottom of their soul, but I'm going to tell you that coming back to this stuff is true from the bottom of my soul because I know from experience that I used to be a binge eater and I am no longer a binge eater because of this stuff, because of getting back in touch with my body, learning how to love my body again, learning how to do self-care. And these are all the things that we teach in the family, right? It's The family is all about this. It's not necessarily, a, I mean, we talk about eat to live and nutritarian stuff, but mainly we're talking about all this soft stuff, right? The self-care, the self-love. How can we love ourselves even at 400 pounds? How can how could we fully love ourselves at 400 pounds and still want to lose weight and be able to, to do it and to keep it off, right? <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. So can we get back in touch with our hunger, our natural body process of hunger and satiety? It's the most beautiful system when you're back in touch with it. So I'm going to teach you how to get back in touch with it today, okay? That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Let's see what we're talking about. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, <laughs> my personal guru mindset. I am completely mind blown. I'm so glad I'm going to get you to do your taxes. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, that's fine, Sandra. I admit I've had sexual abuse when lately found out at 17. I'm so sorry to hear that. You're 64. It was bad. I blacked out and it messed me up. <clears throat> meaning food is comfort and control. Absolutely, absolutely, completely valid, totally valid. And I cannot tell you how many people I have talked to that have sexual trauma, abuse, things like this in their past, and they use food as a way to cope. Totally get it. I'm going to tell you up front, <clears throat> I'm not a trauma counselor, right? So I really recommend that you work through those things with a counselor or a therapist in addition to what we're doing. I'm not qualified to deal with trauma on a very serious basis, right? And I would never, I would always refer you to someone else in that case. But I can tell you that what we do is the best complement to therapy or counseling that you can ever do. Right. So please work those things out because there's some stuff in there, probably some um, 
emotional responses and signals and and fear and safety and things like that that I don't I don't get that deep into stuff when I do coaching. I would do it with a private client perhaps depending on the level of trauma. But if I felt like we needed some more, we'd just straight go into therapy and I'd try to I would try to work with you with the therapist, right? If we feel like we're at a place where um <clears throat> we're past those things in a way where they're not causing a large trauma response on a regular basis, that's when it's appropriate to work with me, right? Like when we've moved past those things enough that we're able to talk about them to get, um, what's the word, constructive about it and work through it, that's when I'm a great resource. But I'll just say there's nothing wrong with wherever you are. It's just, um, would my type of coaching be effective for someone who's in a tough spot with trauma right now? It just wouldn't be effective, right? It just would be, there'd be too much resistance and too much pain there that I would want the person to work through ahead of time. And then once we work through that a bit and we can start to um, be more proactive about making changes in our life, um, that's where it's a great time to start doing this life coaching stuff. Okay. So I want to be clear that, um, Wherever you are is perfect. You are you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Um, and just want you to be. I just want to be realistic with what we can do, right? Um. Uh, right. Exactly. So Rochelle says, talk about the importance of mindset. I came into a family that didn't believe in breastfeeding because they thought it was somehow dirty. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Like, we get. We have um, reactions to things that we don't even realize are reactions based on how we were raised or whatever. So the breastfeeding thing, like we might have been taught that and then we didn't do it because we were taking their um, skewed views of things as truth, right? But I know, Rochelle, that you had a, you, you nursed as well. And so you were able to change your thoughts about that. And that's all I'm trying to do for your folks is just change your thoughts about some stuff so that we create better uh, results in our life so that we can lose weight so that we can stop emotional eating and things like this. Right. Um, this is beautiful. Yes. I think I'm close to getting emotionally better. Well, then it's probably an appropriate time for you to add life coaching in. I'd be honored if you joined us, Sandra. Um, and if you could really come on to get coached, we don't have to go into real deep stuff. We can just go into the light stuff. Like, why do I keep overeating? Why do I this? Why do I that? Right. Um, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, Michelle. So, okay. So I'm going to get into this now. Um, <clears throat> Melissa says, hunger is not what we think it is. It's not a rumbling tummy. Absolutely. So I want to talk a little bit about the difference between um, true hunger and toxic hunger. Uh, that's not true. Let's see. True versus toxic. Okay. So we have an opinion of hunger usually that uh, hunger is something like a very strong rumbling stomach, headaches, irritability, you know, um, shakiness, stuff like this. That's what we believe hunger is. And this is actually toxic hunger. It's actually not a real thing. It's actually just withdrawal from over any kind of processed foods and a lack of nutrients in the body. That's where toxic hunger comes from. It's basically your body crying out for more and all it knows to cry out for is the junk food. So it cries out for that. When really what it needs is more micronutrients like antioxidants and bioflavonoids. And it needs fiber and it needs many other things other than just um, fat, protein, carbohydrates, right? So when our body is crying out for nutrition, that's actually toxic hunger. So when we feel those things like a rumbling tummy, irritability, all that, that's actually not hunger. That's withdrawal. And that's why the minute you eat that sweet thing, it takes that away because it's like having a little bit of a drug. L literally, it's like that withdrawal from that little drug. Whereas true hunger and what we really want, true hunger is comfortable. So if your hunger does not feel comfortable, you are having toxic hunger. It's not true hunger. When we were, uh, you know, a toddler, and before we started having all the French fries and all that kind of stuff, our hunger was merely a notification, right? It's a notification. You, like, you know when you sign into your Facebook and you see up at the top corner, you see those little like, doo -doo -doo, guess what? You have some things you got to look out for. That's all it is. It's not like, hey, you got to do this thing, right? Like really loud and crazy and getting your attention, which is how hunger feels to us now. 
it's literally just a notification like, hey, it'd be cool if you had a meal. All right, I'm going to go back here now. <laughs> That's what hunger is really like. It's like, hey, time for a meal. Um, if you need it, fine. If you don't, cool. I'll be back in a minute to remind you, right? It, that's how it sounds when it's true hunger. Um, it's just a notification, no big deal. And it's found in a different place in the body. So instead of all stomach and head, it's found here in the middle of the body, in the throat, in the mouth, watering mouth. It's, um, it's like a feeling of desire. It's hard to explain unless you've actually... I get it now, but um, I didn't have it in the past. I used to always have toxic hunger. But as your diet gets better and better as far as fiber and nutrients and things like this, as you get closer and closer on that spectrum to what we would consider a nutritarian diet, the closer you get to true hunger and the faster that comes. So it's something to consider that if we're in a place of a lot of toxic hunger, that actually makes it harder to lose weight because we're so, um, we have so many cravings that it sets us back a little bit. Whereas if we can get towards true hunger, it even makes everything easier. It's just less of, you know, less of a panic or a, an issue when we're hungry. So first things first, understand that our hunger signals are greatly influenced by the type of food we're eating as well, right? Um, and then the basic concept that I want to give you here now, I'm going to go into just the meat of this meat, so to speak, of this presentation. So I got 15 minutes left. I want to leave a little bit of time for questions. I want you to understand, I want you to understand your hunger and your satiety. Because this is the thing that no one teaches us. And this is what I was saying a minute ago, that if we could get in touch with what these body processes are like, it would be easy for us to use them for good as the tool that they should be used for, right? Think back in the day when um, we used to be hunters and gatherers. Our hunger would be the signal that, hey, it's time to find some food. Our hunger would be the thing that keeps us alive. If we didn't have hunger, it's like those people who lose nerve function and they can't feel when their arm is being cut off, right? They actually physically can't feel it. And it's a very dangerous thing for a person to not have nerve, to have nerve damage or whatever so that they can't feel stuff because they just can't tell if they're being, if they're gravely injuring their body, right? And so it's the same thing for us. If we're not in touch with this, we can't actually be effective with um, what our body needs and what it doesn't need. And if we didn't have a hunger signal, we wouldn't eat and we would just die, right? So hunger signal is very important and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. It's like, you know, it's like breathing. It's a wonderful process. It's so like, think of breathing, like you're oxygenating all your, like what? It's just insane, these processes. When you really think about them and hunger is no different, using hunger as the gift that it is, okay? So hunger tells us when we need food. And I, what I want you to do, what I want to impart on you today, I'm going to use something called the hunger scale. And it's so important. Now I'm going to say I resisted this for years, a couple years when I first started doing this work. And it wasn't until I started using the hunger scale that it changed my whole life. Okay, so perhaps if you're resistant, perhaps put down the resistance. Let's just see if it will work for us, okay? So what I want to teach you about your own hunger just today, this is just sort of an intro of what we talk about in the family. I want you to think of your hunger as a scale from negative 10 to positive 10. You can take notes on this if you want, okay? Okay. And you think of it like a scale. So negative 10 to positive 10. Zero being like totally neutral. No feeling, right? Not hungry, not full. Totally neutral. 10 being like the most full you could ever be. Like literal stomach exploding, like actually physically exploding. Negative 10 being almost dead because you need more food. Really, like I mean that, that extreme. These are the extremes here, okay? So the rest of the hunger scale I want you to look at is a five, for instance, would be a negative five would be pretty hungry. And a positive five would be um, pretty full. Okay, now the sweet spot. Let's talk about the sweet spot. <clears throat> Let me get green so it stands out. What I believe the sweet spot to be is plus four to negative four. This is the sweet spot. Okay. 
What do I mean by sweet spot? I mean, an, a plus four is like very comfortably full. Not stuffed at all, not pretty full, just very comfortable. Like, like you had a full meal, you don't, you don't want anymore, you're good, but you don't feel stuffed at all. You feel very comfortable and you could get like three to four hours with to your next meal with feeling totally comfortable, okay? A negative four is um, not too hungry. It's hard to, but hungry, <laughs> right? This is like not, it's not precise. And the reason it's not precise is because it's different for everybody. So what I'm trying to teach you is that I want you to find what this range is for you. And I want you to know what that feels like in your body because you don't know what it feels like yet. Okay. So what I love for people to do is try to find what this feels like in your body. Because I'm telling you, if you're shaky and you're irritable, you're at a five, six, or seven. That's too far. That's too hungry. If you're at a Thanksgiving level, that's like a seven, right? A five is like um, maybe a little bit distended. Like your belly is kind of big. It's like food baby, right? Thanksgiving is like a seven, I'd say. Like it hurts. You just want to go to sleep. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten is getting dangerous. And then similarly, negative seven is like, uh-oh, I'm mad, <laughs> right? This is like ang the hangry thing, right? Now, I'd like to say that if you still have toxic hunger, all I mean is don't get into toxic hunger. Don't get to that place where you feel super, super um, irritable, cranky, crabby, all that kind of stuff. Just don't get there. Don't let your hunger ever go that far. Always stay between negative four and positive four. The first thing that we're doing here is we're getting in touch with our body's signals. We're, we're trying to figure out what this even means in us because I tell you this system is literally, it's all you need. You don't need anything else in order to lose weight. Now, the kicker here, the fun part is that if you stay here and if you learn how to stay here, not only will you feel really physically good, all the time because you'll never be starved you'll never binge and overeat if you can get if you can learn how to keep keep your hunger in this area not only will you feel good but you will also lose weight i guarantee you why because overeating creates weight gain that's the only thing that creates weight gains overeating just take it in too many calories you might have some hormonal imbalance. You'd be like, well, I'm in menopause. That's great. Or I'm taking this medication, whatever. That creates weight gain too. Mm, yeah, but what's actually happening is now, even if you're on medication or in menopause, now actually what's happening is that you're not eating the right amount for this new body that you have that's on medication or that is in menopause. Now you're just still overeating for that particular new circumstance in your life. So now things need to be adjusted, right? If you're eating out of hunger ever, that's what causes weight gain. It's the only thing that causes weight gain. Okay? So if we could just get rid of this part and this angry one that leads to this way overeating, if we could just get rid of the extremes on the list, on the scale, we will automatically lose weight because we will not have extra calories. We will not have additional calories that we don't need. And it's easier to do, it's easier to stay here than what we have been doing because this one feels really crappy. We feel angry, we feel mad. We actually ruin relationships sometimes. Honestly, I used to. And this one ruins your relationship with yourself because you're so mad at yourself for going to that place, right? But if we stay here, this is self-care. This is self-care, self-love, right? If we can learn to stay here, this is self-care. This is weight maintenance. This is weight loss. This is self-love right here. I'd like to just offer that this is self-care. 
And if we can learn how to do it really good, we got everything we need, okay? If Melissa says, I'm probably a negative four now, but we'll wait till this workshop is done to chop my salad. How comfortable is that? Like, how much of a not issue is that? That's amazing. That's right. Michelle says, one thing I know is pay attention to taste. If it doesn't taste fabulous anymore, you're full. Yeah, or you're on your way to full, right? I've noticed with salads that if I have a salad and it starts to not taste good, I still need to eat a little bit more to get three, four hours to my next meal. And, and here's the point, Michelle, is that I've learned that about my body and you're going to now learn it about your body of exactly how much you need in order to get to that next meal to feel the right level of fullness and satiety and hunger so that you can create weight loss. And once we have this down, it takes some time and it takes some coaching and stuff. But like once we have it down, you'll never forget it. <laughs> you'll always know exactly what your body needs. It's not like someone's going to be like, learn this new point system so you can figure out how much to eat. No, you just use your silly, amazing body. It's all you need, right? Okay. Beautiful. Yes, that's part of it. It's part of it. And just learning exactly what happens in your body, Michelle, that's, that's what's really critical. Because I, I, I can't look at this and know exactly what happens in your body. I'll give you an example of this. I mentioned this in an email a few months ago, and I asked folks, what are the signals that you use to know that you're hungry or full? And I could not believe this, but two people wrote me back and said that when they know they're full, they sneeze. Their body will just sneeze when they're full. And I'm like, what kind of sorcery is this? So amazing. How cool is that to know to have a very specific signal like that, right? Because most of us don't have a signal like that. And so we have to find the other signals that work for us, okay? And Sandra says, um, I lay sideways on the couch. I have other chronic pain though involved, can't sit or stand long. I know what that's like. I had a, I was pregnant with twins um, a few years ago and, and for the longest I just couldn't, I could not sit or stand. There are so many things that we can do that will make things faster making faster salads, faster meals, things like this, start to finish. And like I make, um, I can do soup start to finish in seven minutes. Um, if it's already made, right. I can do it like done eating in seven minutes, go downstairs, warm up, eat the whole thing, be done eating in seven minutes. Right. That's fast food. Um, and so we just have to learn about how to make it so that we have these foods on hand Bagged salads are such an amazing thing that we have nowadays that you can just get in most any grocery store, bagged salads in the produce aisle, um, throw out the dressing or use the dressing if you like, whatever. It's such a better choice than having a, you know, a, a deli sandwich or something like that. Um, and so this is what I teach is how do we do this even when we have any circumstance like a low budget, right? Or um, uh, the inability to sit or stand for very long, Um 10 kids, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what our circumstances, we can all do this stuff. And that's why my program is so simple. And it's not based on things that it's, it, you know, um, that are tough with other circumstances, like this will work no matter what circumstance, what I talked about the, the one pound down system with the very, very simple three steps, this will work no matter what is going on in your life. And I will coach you on how to do that. That's why the coaching is so important. Okay. All right. Um, so that's it for now. I have to go in just a couple of minutes. Does anyone have any thoughts or questions about any of this, but mainly the eat to the family? Cause I need to just give you a quick overview real fast. Um, let me know if you have any comments in this, in the comment section. I'm going to just tell my people that I'm going to be just a couple of minutes late here. Um, one sec. Okay, so eat to live family while I'm waiting. Yes, Chantal, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for being here. We're gonna check about the family now. See you in the family if anyone else, else has to go, okay? Um, okay, so these types of questions, um, is it about the sort of mindfulness? Well, there's some to it. We talk about that more inside the family. Um, I can't get into all the details now. You know, these, these questions like this, um, 
we can certainly talk about that inside the family or, you know, we can talk about it on a, on another call at some point. Um, but what I want to talk just for a minute about is how you would make this change yourself. So the things I'm talking about, the quick start program, right? Um, in the eat to the family, what is the E to the family, right? So I talk about this three-step thing, and I talked about the academy. It's all inside of the E to the family. What is the E to the family? It's an affordable monthly group coaching. That's the whole point of it is to come and get coached. It's all about the coaching. And what I did today, I did a little bit of that coaching here. I, I've... I've I have some examples of this on my YouTube channel. I try to do this every Friday to show you what the coaching is like. Um, but you basically what would happen is you would come on to a call with me and we would go through whatever you're struggling with. I will demolish it in 30 minutes. I guarantee you, I always do. I will make it so that you don't struggle with that thing. And you can get coaching from me two times a month. When I work with people privately, they can get coaching from me three to four times a month. It's really not that much difference. If you actually come onto the calls, you can get coached with me over and over and over again. Me personally, I will coach you. It's amazing. So valuable to be able to come on and get coached about whatever you're struggling with. And we just keep working on it. Keep breaking down those barriers that you have. Okay. So that's the most important part of the whole reason you would join the family. But there are so many other things in the family that you get just for that $49 a month. The Quick Start Program in the Academy, the Academy itself, this eight-week course, I have sold that over 100 times for $497. That's how much I have sold it for. But I've actually had people tell me that it's worth at least double. So like we're talking, it's a $1,000 program. And you get access to it for free inside of the family. This the whole thing. You can just go through the whole thing. And you can join for 49 bucks a month, watch the whole thing in a month, and leave. <laughs> right? It's so dumb what I charged for the family. But there's that 497. You get the coaching calls. Um, typically, my month, my, um, I don't like to say a, a session or whatever, but typically, if you're working with me, it's somewhere in the range of $300 a session. That's typically, if you're working with me privately, $300 a session. And you could get two of those a month. And I'll charge you. I'll, I'll talk to you as long as I talk to my private clients. I talk to people for 30, 45 minutes on a call. You can get two sessions like that with me. I will demolish the things that are holding you back. $300 a session. You can get it for 49 bucks a month. It's stupid what I charge. Right? So just this and this would set you back. This would be $600. That'd be at least $500. So $1,100 for $49. Are you kidding me? And what are we really talking? We're not talking about what's in the family. What we're talking about, guys, is getting over emotional eating. What is that worth? Getting over emotional eating. Thousands of dollars? Thousands? Sandra asks, is the food expensive? Um, you can eat whatever you want, right? Like we try to follow a plant-based, high nutrient, lots of vegetables type diet, but we start wherever you are. So it's no more expensive than what you're eating right now, okay? Um, you also say, is there a Facebook group? So that's the best part of the family. The family is actually its own private social media network. So it's like Facebook. It's just like going onto Facebook, but it's not on Facebook. It's totally private. It's on its own website. So when you get in there, it's completely private. There's no one else in there, but everyone who's in the Eat to Live family, there's like hundreds of people in there, okay? But it's only us. So when you're getting coached in front of people, it's only people who are investing in themselves on a monthly basis to be in that program. Nobody else can get in there and see stuff, okay? So it's totally private. It is its own social media network. So when you sign on, it looks just like Facebook where there's a feed and everyone's talking and chatting and there's direct messages and there's groups and there's all these different things. 
We have all of our coaching calls lined up so you can see when things are coming up. All the programs are in there, the Academy, the Quick Start program. And on top of that, we give you a free 21 day challenge every quarter, which by the way, we're doing one right now. So if you join, like you should join as soon as you can, because number one, you'll get access to this 21 day challenge that everyone is doing, which is recipes, grocery lists, meal plans. Everyone's doing a 21 day challenge and you'll get previous 21 day challenges as well, just for free, just for joining. This will keep you on track and teach you how to eat healthier and how to lose weight quickly and all that kind of stuff. And you'll have the camaraderie and support of the group. So you have challenges, but you also have tons of recipes that people have put up all their favorite recipes. We have a recipe book that we're working to organize more. Um, uh, what else, you guys? We have my personal weight loss vlog, which is hundreds of videos that I've made and never released to the public about how I'm losing weight um, since the birth of my twins and my struggles with lots of different things, my cancer struggle, my glucose issues, all these kinds of things. I talk all about that in there. And so you get access to all that. And not only do we do co two coaching calls a month, but you get access to every coaching call I've ever done for over two years. So there's 60 plus recordings of previous co coaching calls. And people are always telling me that when they watch a coaching call that someone else got coached on, it's like they got coached too. And there's more than 60 of those. And each of those has three to four people being coached on it. So we're talking... 300 different coaching topics and different things that people have been coached on. You can just, you have access to all that <clears throat> right when you join for 49 bucks. It's insane. This is exactly right, Michelle. I couldn't have said it better. Getting over emotional eating is priceless. People get weight loss surgery for this, but guess what, Michelle? Weight loss surgery does not end emotional eating. Do you know how many people pick up another habit or gain the weight back once they've had bariatric surgery or anything like that? It doesn't fix the actual problem. The problem is the emotional is the emotional control, the emotional response, the processing of the emotions. And that's what you get when you join the family, right? You will learn how to get it. It is weight loss surgery, right? It's weight loss surgery for the brain. Basically, I, I always call it a, a gym for the mind. 49 bucks a month is like a gym membership but it's for your mind and you'll no longer be an overeater in that case, right? It's insane. Um, <clears throat> so there, so it's always, it's always there. People are always in there, right? We don't do it as groups. It's just rolling, right? But we do only open up once every quarter. So we're open right now in April. If you want to join, you go to the wateringmouth.com slash family we're only open right now until the end of the week. But the reason, what I was saying was I want you to join now because there's a 21 day challenge going on. So you can join that now. That's going on for another two weeks. And I'm coaching tomorrow. I have my first coaching session up tomorrow. So if you join today specifically, or if you had joined on Monday or whatever, you would already have access. So you'll be able to be on the coaching call with me tomorrow. I could coach you as early as tomorrow if you join right now. And we have another call on Saturday, which is going to be a, um, a mixer where we get to know each other. All the people that joined this week, we're going to have a special call on Saturday where we all get together and just chat and get to know each other and things like that. Okay. So you don't want to miss out. You really do want to join. And then we close our doors on Friday night. We always close our doors Friday night at midnight and you cannot get back in after that. And we don't open again until July. We, we don't open again. So there's some you got to kind of act this week and I, it would be best for you to act now because then you can get on that coaching call with me. Okay. <laughs> Michelle says, if you could see me, you would see me shaking my head. I'm so glad. So let me know, is anyone in here going to join that hasn't joined before? <clears throat> is anyone feeling like, yes, I got to do this. Let me know what you're thinking. Michelle says support and understanding. Totally. It's totally that. How are you guys feeling? So there's no, and I just want to mention again, um, <clears throat> Sandra, like, it's not like there's a group, it's like people are starting, but you, this is all DIY, like you go at your own pace, stay as long as you want, whatever. So there's nothing actually specifically starting. You can access the programs immediately when you get in there and it's go at your own pace. Okay. Yay. This person says, I'm interested in joining. I'm so glad. 
Michelle says, yes, yes, she's joining. Karen, yay, Karen's going to join. I'm going to join, she says. Sandra, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Interested, need to tweak budget first. Do it today. I mean, it's Tuesday. Figure it out today so you can join the coaching call tomorrow, okay? It's only 49 bucks. Tweak your budget just a little bit. Find some room in there. Everyone has room if you get creative, okay? If you find some way to make a few extra bucks every month, whatever, just tweak something and join today. You will not regret it. Michelle is signing up now. I'm so glad. We're going to welcome you in. I'm so excited. Yes. And she says, I'm going to join to get support to continue with what I'm doing. Yep. And especially if any kind of, um, you know, anything's come up. And that's the thing is like, usually when people start Eat to Live, they'll have a lot of really good success in the beginning. And then something will happen. It will throw them off. That's what we're here for. It's that moment that I care about. And that's the moment that I have answers for, right? What do I do when I go off track? What do I do when I'm, when I just can't seem to stick to it, right? Sandra, go to the bank. You need to do it because you know what you want to do is end emotional eating. You know, it's worth the trip to the bank, right? It's worth the trip to figure this out. It's so worth it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to love it and you can cancel anytime. So you'd only be out 49 bucks, but I guarantee you it's worth thousands when you join. Um, okay. So I'm so glad to hear all of you folks are interested in joining. You're going to come in with us. I, I would, you know, I'm just so excited for you. I usually have a little thing that I can blow that's like a celebration, you know, one of those things. Um, but it's over there because I have to hide it from my daughters or they will rip it apart to shreds. So just pretend that I'm like blowing an air horn. So excited. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, so happy. Yes. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, <clears throat> Michelle, um, or wait, um, uh, is sourdough bread allowed? Yeah. You can eat whatever you want. <laughs> you can still lose weight. I'm going to teach you how that works. I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that so that you never have to give up anything you don't want to. And I know everyone says that, but really this is how this works. Like I don't give stuff up that I don't want to ever, 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 ever. And I can still lose weight in this way. Okay. And I will teach you how you can do that. Um, so certainly you never have to give up sourdough bread if you don't want to. Oh my God, we don't do keto. Sorry. <laughs> No, we do not do keto. If you want to do keto, cool. I just don't know much about it because I, I don't recommend it. I mean, I know enough to know that I don't recommend it. Um, so we don't coach on keto, but you could do keto if you wanted and just use our mindset stuff. Um, but please don't do keto. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. I have, I have post-it notes and I'm going to do this <laughs> really soon. I always like to put the names of everyone who joined up on my wall behind me. So I'm going to do that today. And then I'll make sure I send you guys um, some pictures of that. Okay. So we can see all the amazing people. Okay, good. You're not going to do keto. Thank God. <laughs> yes, I am going to get, I am going to get post-it notes, I promise. And yes, a joy eat. That's what we call it. Um, yeah. And that's the thing. That's the thing about keto. When you go and change all these things in order to like, oh, I just have to eat this certain way to get this result. No, like that's why we end up gaining it back because it's not sustainable. I'm going to teach you a way to do whatever you want, to have sourdough bread still, to have, you know, healthy eating or whatever, and still get to eat the stuff that you want to. I'm going to teach you the way to do it that, because if we cut out the emotional eating, we're not going to be binging on sourdough bread because we can't have it, right? You're going to be able to have sourdough bread on occasion, and it's going to be totally fine. There'll be no drama. And then you'll go back to whatever you eat otherwise, right? Like it's just, we're just going to remove the drama from it. It's not going to be a problem anymore. Um, and, and so those of you who are joining, I think we've got at least five or six people here right now on the call who said they were joining two things you're going to do. And I got to go after this. Okay. Well, number one, everyone who wants to join, go to the watering slash family join there. Okay. Join now. So you can get on that coaching call with me tomorrow. Okay. There's only two things I want you to do when you join. Number one, watch the quick start program. I'm going to erase the things that you don't need to do. Okay. Um, Oh, it's not, it's not even on here. Oh, well, this is one of them actually. Um, so go in and watch the quick start program. That's the first thing that you're going to see. It only takes five to six hours. Do that this week, make a plan to do that this week and then go to the event section. It's in the left sidebar under the courses. It's going to list all the upcoming coaching calls. Look for my coaching call tomorrow 
look at the date and the time, put it in your calendar, show up. The Zoom link is in there. You just show up by it there and you can see all the events coming up. Not only coaching calls, but we have workshops as well, like bonus workshops that Coach Lydia and Coach Nancy do every month as well. You can watch all those recordings. So do the quick start program, go to the event section. And if you're interested, this is just a bonus. You can go to the, um, bleh, sorry, 21 day challenge. We're doing a 21 day challenge, everybody. So you can sign up for that if you want and download the materials for free, whatever. This is just bonus. Don't let it overwhelm you. For sure, the two things I care the most part are do the quick start program, go to the events and calendar in my call for tomorrow. Okay. I think it's at two mountain. Um, okay. That's it. I got to go. Wait, <clears throat> why six hours? What do you mean six hours? What did I say? Six hours. Oh, why is it six hours? The quick start program? Because that's the amount of time it takes for me to get the message across to you. One of those hours is watching a previous coaching call. So if you've seen a previous coaching call, you don't have to watch it. Um, the real meat of the content is going to teach you everything of that quick start program, that three step program in just five hours of content. Okay. Um, but you can do that in a week. Commit to it. You got it. It's actually not that much time to learn how to change your life, right? Yes. And Nancy had a workshop last night, so you can watch that recording. Um, and I have my coaching call coming up. So, okay, y'all, you're so welcome. I'm so, I'm so glad to hear that many of you are joining. I got to go to another call right now, but I appreciate your time. I hope that you learned a lot here. Um, and I really hope to welcome you into the Etila family. Um, you're going to just love it. And I can't wait to meet you. Okay. Um, Michelle. Okay. So you already joined while we were on the call. Um, if you haven't gotten the invite email, it comes from something called Mighty Networks. That's the private network that we're on. So look for something, an email, look in your spam and all that, and an email that comes from mn.co. That's mightynetworks.co. It's a UK company. If you don't get it, just email us immediately um, here at support at thewateringmouth.com, and we will get you in immediately, okay? Sometimes those emails get lost in um, spam and stuff in the trash, whatever. So just email us support at thewateringmouth.com and we'll get that out to you ASAP. Okay. I'm so glad you joined. Yay. Um, okay. So thewateringmouth.com slash family. We hope to welcome you in. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you in the family or on the next live video that I do here. Take care, friends. Remember, we're only open until Friday. So have a good one. See you in the family. Bye.